For the ultra, ultra wealthy, they're very shy and they're very scared for people to understand what they have. They built this, but they're so scared to lose it. It's never going to stay with you. It's got to go somewhere else. No matter what happens, if it's to charity, if it's to the IRS, it doesn't make a difference. It's going somewhere. So you might as well have your family enjoy the process, not the money. Enjoy the process of building wealth and building success and being part of the story and co-authoring a book with you, a, an autobiography or a biography so they really understand where you come from. When you get them involved on the onset, they'll learn where it came from, they'll learn the work ethic that they can build and then they'll do that and teach it to their kids and the cycle can continue. The cycle can't be broken if there's a delineation. The cycle can only be broken if the money is growing and there's nobody else that understands it. I've spoken to some billionaires and what they do is when they have their kids at home, they start speaking another language. And I said to them, how come you don't teach your kids that language? They said, no, because I don't want them to understand me. But you're doing them a disservice. You're doing them a disservice that they can't go and have more, be multilingual. So teaching them the language of money, teaching them the concept of money so that they understand the conversations, reading to them about healthy financial situations and healthy habits, it's going to go to the moon for them. And they're going to appreciate it. They're going to love it. And they're going to talk about it. My family, my great grandfather was a very, very successful person. But what he did that was so smart is his entire family all worked together and everybody knew about them. They were incredibly charitable. They were incredibly giving and everybody knew. And when I talk about his legacy, there's so many people that come to me and say, I, I knew your great grandfather. He was so giving. He was so caring. He was this humble person and he never was scared to help somebody else in need. His legacy was brought with the people he impacted. If he stayed quiet, people would have just gone, this person was a rich guy and he went. That's not the legacy that I wanted to live and that's not the legacy that people should live who have been and found success through their life. If you don't want your kids to blow the money, make sure that they're in the process, so that they're building the money with you. They're never going to blow their own money. They're going to blow your money. But if they're part of the process, if they say it's ours and they feel a sense of ownership, then they're going to continue building. They're going to work harder. They're going to be motivated. They're going to have a beautiful life. They're going to have beautiful kids. They're going to have beautiful generational wealth and they're going to build real success of their own. Don't fall into the trap. It's not your money. It's your legacy's money. And your legacy involves your family, your charity, your causes, your businesses, your partners, your community, the people you care about most and the people, even if you don't care about them, just talking about it and having that engagement with them can really help build. That's my advice. That's what I've been doing since I was a kid. When my parents were going through a lot of challenges, they said it's our legacy. So we're going to talk to our kids about money on the negative and on the positive. We were always open. And that's where all of the kids have been successful. That's where my goal is to have my kids be successful, not necessarily stuck on me, but building wealth in their own capacity and learning how to build wealth through my instruction and my, fa my father's instruction and my grandfather's instruction and building that wealth over.